Hello again. Today I'm going to be using the double swords and the chrono staff. And here you can see my sword. This is the ice damage sword that is displayed right there. Then I've also got this sword, which is do 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 right here. Yeah. Ah, uh, sorry, that's wrong. Um, right here. Okay. Yeah, I had to click on it. Didn't do that. Go to the sword right there. 83 fire damage plus attack power. And then I've got this chrono staff, which right here. That is the chrono staff. 43 damage. Pretty nice stuff. But basically just going to be using this to slow things. Uh, and I'm going to almost solely just rely on my swords. These are definitely my favorite models of swords. Uh, this one more so than this one. But either way, both of them are very similar and very cool looking. So yeah doing that with some good elements on them as well i think i recently found these swords uh, and just this model it might be a new model for some reason um because i don't think i found them uh, a while back when i was level 50 and i was still grinding the game um okay so because i have this crazy good loadout with a chrono staff chrono staff is so good i am going to use the or do the lava forge which is the hardest realm and We'll do tier 6 difficulty in this eerie dungeon. Let's see how this goes. Just a random, random mission. And teleport me into the world. Alright. Well, there we go. Yeah, so it it's probably not going to be too difficult to use the, <coughs> the dual, dual swords. But yeah, so dual swords, pretty good stuff. The only downside to that is I cannot throw. Even if you have the throwable perk, it's pretty useless. Like you can see, it's kind of garbage. <laughs> and like usually the handle ends up uh, being the thing that hits. I guess that's realistic physics. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I gotta find a key so I can go back there and open that chest. Um, also get some gold while I'm at it. Ooh accidentally block that guy okay here we go nice Ooh. Ooh. okay Ooh. Kill this dude stab him nice yeah so the stabs I feel like are pretty good on swords also gotta gotta keep finding my gems for the slows didn't find any keys yet but that's okay very satisfying to do a little swipe on the zombie. Just get that one shot kill on his head. Ugh. All right. Yeah, so actually one thing I've been thinking of lately is whether this game is like an arcade style game. Oh, I could just chop off his limbs, but I'm not gonna do that. A lot of people like messing around with those guys. Um, yeah, so these guys are in the lava. Also, did that hurt? That didn't even hurt. I don't. I don't know what the point of that is. Ugh. And I. I don't think I can hurt this guy. Oh wow, he does a lot of damage. I forget about that. Yeah, so that didn't do any damage. That fireball would have done some damage, but I'll give him a slow. Just make this a little easier. And I'll just do the. Oh my goodness, he got unslowed pretty fast. Ugh. Ugh. I'm just doing the overhead hits because I feel like those are the best. Oh man, can't get my sword. All right, there we go. <laughs> Matrix fall. That's pretty nice. Bam. No. Oh, bam. <laughs> uh, it's funny how weak the sword throws are. It would be really cool. I've I've talked in the Discord asking for a throw where you could like javelin throw it like this and just whoo. But I don't think that's going to be a thing, uh, at least anytime soon. There's a game, Asgard's Wrath 2, um, that some of you might have played. But that game has really good throwing mechanics to make you feel like you're a god. I would not say they're very realistic, unlike this game. This game's awesome in the, the realism, my god, realism of the physics and, and the amazingness of, of the Frozen. <laughs> but... um. Yeah, no, with Asgard's Wrath 2, you just 
everything is kind of designed to make you feel like a god even if you're kind of just like if you toss the weapon like this much it'll just go zoom out into the whatever target you slightly aimed at it'll just like home into it like a homing missile so not something that i really want to see from this game but you know oh well there's always a key there by the way oh my gosh i didn't even see that guy all right Ugh. wow oops hi spider okay do a little Urgh. nice that's fun yeah i don't know um it'd be cool if there was like a little discussion on whether this game is an arcade game or more of a or arcade style game or more of a i don't know realistic style game because i see both sides um and i think it was designed to have more so real physics than say many other vr games and when i think of arcade game i think of like not very realistic but at the same time the style of just like going through and constantly killing stuff and not really having a, a soul like purpose of a soul mission per se you kind of just have endless dungeons you can go through that is kind of arcadey so okay next place but yeah I've, I've heard both sides let's see what's in here uh level two chest i don't think there's a key in there so even if i even if i open that i don't think i could get the chest get this coin it also using haste <laughs> makes it seem a little more arcadey because you just you're standing up and you're zooming around just from standing up Urgh. oh come on Urgh. Ooh, my goodness get off of me spider ah Ooh. hey dude Oh man, <laughs> you really gotta stab hard. I forget that when they're when they're frozen, they're still solid. Oh wow, spider! Oh my gosh, guys jumping at me like crazy. All right, next up, always got a key right here. I'm gonna take that, use the skeleton key real quick. And is there anything spawning? Oh, there was a poison thing behind me sometimes actually almost all the time I missed my first shot on the zombies just because oh that's pretty pretty sweet oh, hard to stab though um but yeah because they have that weird like uh tackle motion that they do it, it's kind of hard to to get that that first shot off but at the same time right after they do the tackle it's super easy to kill them oh my sword got stuck in him oh wow missed okay. oh shucks i didn't see that guy there i was taking it easy for a second can't do that just barely dodged him <laughs> Beautiful stuff. All right. Give me this key. And there's always a chest right over there. So I'm going to go open this and get the chest. Never mind. It's a level one. So I'm going to leave that for now. But maybe I'll come back. Um, I don't have any haste potions. So, oh, perfect. This place always has two tier twos, I believe, at the bottom here. So, got to grab this. Go on down like a firefighter going down that what is it rope uh pole it's, it's a pole all right give me all that loots good stuff on back to the top what do we got over here all right next up this way yeah if i was like really serious about this i'd be fighting like this in my fight stance the whole time I guess if it wasn't arcadey, you'd have to. Um, 59 health, a little low. Ooh, wow, right on my face. Satisfying stuff. Oh, you know what? Next, next thing that I freeze, I am gonna punch 
Ready? Hmm. Love that. Nice. Yeah, and I love how these swords are long, because, man, when the swords aren't long, they're just a pain in the butt. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> that was great. Uh, okay. Next, there's always a key there. A lot of times there's, like, that pole or, or pillar with a little crack in it, crevice, and that is where the key is. Just took four damage, oh no. Alright, back over here. I really I barely even had to touch the Chrono Staff this game. Um, I haven't seen anything really worthy of it aside from that skeleton. But even then, I, I probably could have fought him if I was careful enough without the Chrono Staff. Oh, wow. Man, those guys show up out of nowhere. I don't have my volume high enough to hear them, <laughs> hear exactly where they spawn. Alright, um, I think this is the dead end room, but I might have to go back, um, if it's not. Oh, I didn't even know there was a key there. That looks like a guaranteed key spawn, but I can't even reach it. Okay, so I have to, I have to get on top of it. Oh, that sucked. That sucked. I might die. Oh, whoa. Okay, looks like I'm respawning. See you later, guys. Okay, collision bug it is. When you try to do fancy stuff, that's what happens. Oh, oh, that's why I was dying so fast. Oh my gosh. Those guys are crazy. Okay, yeah, we're not we're not messing around with these guys. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Die, die, die. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> ah, another bomb. Bomber boy. Yep, yep. I just gotta kill those guys quick. <laughs> or else they're not gonna die. Ugh. Nice. I like doing the swipe into overhead. Side swipe overhead. <laughs> I don't know. Gotta get my sword technique down. I'm not a not a real life swordsman, so I don't know the most efficient ways of <laughs> killing things. But I'm learning in Dungeons of Eternity, I think. <laughs> or, or I'm just learning the way. To, to feel that I have a sword in my hand, but not actually, because the weight is totally different. Who knows? Who knows? Swordsman would know. Get that key. Perfect. Okay, so I could go back. I have four keys. Could go back to the very start and get that chest. Um, I don't think I will, just because I don't really care about chests too much, especially when they're not level threes, tier threes. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. There's also a key that's always right there. So you just have to like climb the ladder. You can teleport up there once you put one hand on the ladder, or you can just climb the whole thing. Um, but okay, here we go. Ooh. Get a punch. <laughs> First punch didn't register, so I had to slam him. Alrighty, zombie. There you go. There you go. Do the double swing. Double swing. The double overhead, love that one. <laughs> like how they just fall, fall in random, random ways. I guess it's pretty close to the reality of what it would be. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, my <laughs> it's a little glitchy going for the the punches. My fist tends to get like stuck or like phase through them, but. I mean, that's what happens in VR when you're, <laughs> you can technically go through anything, but then you have collision physics where you're not supposed to. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, shoot. I gotta put my gem. Oh, golly. Am I still... Oh, no, I can move. Okay. For a second, I thought I couldn't. Okay. We're slowing that guy. Yeah, so this is definitely a situation where it is good to have the chrono staff or something like it. Oh, come on. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whether the webs get slow mode too, or if it's just the thing that gets the spiders that get slow mode. Um, but yeah, those spiders are are tough. Cause they, I don't know. Once they build up that web, they never miss. I don't think, at least. Right, let's see if we can do the double punch. <laughs> 
Yeah, I like I swung as hard as I could. What's up with that? That should have worked, man. What's up? With, uh. That's okay. Just not as satisfying as I'd hoped. Let's see if I can do it on this guy. Uh, 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 uh. What in the world? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. I guess you just can't do the forward. Maybe I have to like really put everything into it. Alright. Okay, here we go, here we go. <sighs> oh, that was it. It's because I didn't have enough range of motion. So here I'll I'll show in a second. <sighs> Alright, so instead of doing this, I had to do this. <sighs> Basically just use my whole body <laughs> instead of just my arm. <sighs> So yeah, I oh, I guess you can hit him in the foot. <laughs> That's probably the most effective way to kill this guy. Is just keep tripping him until he dies, especially when you have a long range sword like I do. Um, also, you used to be able to freeze this guy, or actually any any boss, but now you can't freeze any bosses. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to cheese it and kill him like that, you could. But it's more satisfying to do it with a chrono staff. So let's do a little little toss. Oh my goodness, no, that didn't work. Toss it up. Catch it. There we go. Kind of satisfying to do that. Ugh. Come on. Come on. Die, man. Die. Yeah, so the head head is where you got to go. Let's see if I can do the stabs. No, that's, that's really hard to do. Definitely not efficient. There we go. Nice. And then I'll see if I can toss it from here. Can I do that? No, I, don't, I, I think it has to like release from your hand at the point. Yeah, because that was perfect. That would have made it. Can I do it? I can do it all the way from here. But when I throw it and it's right there, I can't. What's up with that? Yeah, cool thing. You can also break vases um, with these. So, I mean, I should have done that the whole time vases and boxes and I don't think it uses up any any of your your gem so easiest way to break those is is the staffs chrono and ice probably healing I think can do it as well but yeah only three weapons because I didn't go back and get those two tier ones and one tier two but yeah no that was a fun run I think I think this might be one of my favorite loadouts I might continue to do this. Maybe I can get two ice swords like this or two fire swords like this and then match them, run that. That sounds really like a lot of fun. Um, always, whenever you have solely melees, you probably want a chrono staff or something to go along with it. Maybe a bow. But because I wanted to use these swords and like show the melee work, um, I wanted to use the, the chrono staff. It's also fun. It's it's fun to see things in slow-mo, that's for sure. But yeah, that is about it. Uh oh, I didn't even show my exos point, so let me just let me show that real quick. It was the arms perk of critical, adds forty percent to increase by two hundred percent, and all my generic ones aside from that. But yeah, that was a good run. Peace out.